Well, for more on Black Friday, I spoke with Bert Flickinger of Strategic Resource Group. He described what shoppers are really clamoring for during the big sales on Black Friday. Uh, sh shoppers are definitely going for consumer electronics. One, high definition two TVs, Apple products, uh, Beats, headphones. Uh, they're also going for the Disney licensed items. Uh, toys are particularly strong this year. Hatchimals is a real standout. Lego, Lego is a real standout. Uh, the Hasbro toys are uh, that whole line is is doing very well, and we're seeing apparel selling very well. And then uh, some of the category dominant categories, uh, most notably uh, pet. Uh, everything from pet costumes to pet toys is is particularly hot as well. Now, have those trends changed over the years, or is it really pretty much the big ticket items, these big electronics that people always tend to go for? Uh, the, uh, the big big ticket items are as strong as ever because there's still deflation, so the prices keep getting lower and lower every year. And with the lower uh, prices, uh, particularly on high definition TVs, they become more and more affordable. So we're we're seeing families uh, at Walmart stores up till uh, th three four o'clock in the morning this morning uh, buy, buying two or three TVs per family. Now, retailers certainly go all out during this time. It's pretty much the, the Super Bowl of the retail season. And we did see that consumer confidence jumped in November, especially after the elections and people becoming more optimistic about the economy. How do you see that playing out for Black Friday retailers? Uh, we're definitely seeing a better uh, mood on Main Street for the consumers, uh, particularly with the millennials, uh, quote unquote, riding to the rescue. Uh, we're seeing more young people between the ages of 18 to 24 and 25 to uh, 34 years of age, the uh, millennial generation out, sh out shopping and spending. So in addition to uh, what their typical shopping online, so Amazon in the US, like uh, Baidu, Baidu uh, and, um, and Alibaba in the PRC, uh, we're, we're seeing the millennials out shopping in, in force, and uh, we're also seeing the par parents and grandparents out there, too. Now, as we look at some of these strategies, whether it's through advertising or perhaps really starting their promotions much earlier, we did see that a lot of companies started their promotions for Black Friday very, very early. How do you see that playing out with the brick-and-mortar stores versus e-commerce? The, there has there has to be a good balance between uh, bricks or uh, shopping mall, uh, shopping center based stores and clicks or online sales, and uh, the ret retailers who do it best are adver advertising to a whole United Nations of constituencies. So, for example, uh, Target has ver uh, new copy and cr uh, creative ads targeted towards Spanish-speaking shoppers, which are the fastest growing consumer group in the U.S., highest am amount of additional disposable income, and targets uh, Spanish-specific ads on uh, Spanish networks, tele uh, Univision and Telemundo really breaking through. Macy's is running the best ads of any retail chain uh, on Telemundo and Univision uh, as well. Uh, where where uh, Target uh, uh, is is not doing as good a job. So Target can start early with Black Friday merchandising and say their online sales are up, which they are. But Target's online sales are somewhat of an embarrassment since Target.com outsourced fulfillment to uh, Amazon uh, during most of the last decade. So Target's way down the track uh, compared to Walmart. And so, uh, ultimately, early Black Friday is pulling sales forward. Uh, but as sales pull forward, you still need a strong marketing strategy, merchandising strategy, and same 360-degree consumer communication strategy from uh, millennials uh, to language-specific advertising uh, to targeting uh, by uh, geodemographics and by region. Now, even though Black Friday is linked to the U.S. holiday of Thanksgiving, we're certainly seeing a lot more countries getting in on the action. You have the U.K., Brazil, Japan, Hungary, Kenya, Mexico, among others, really getting in on the action. So why are we seeing this trend spreading across the world? What is it about this, this shopping holiday that's making it so popular? <laughs> Retailers always look for an excuse uh, to add another sales day. The one thing we're worried about when we were assessing stores in, in Paris uh, a few weeks ago, during uh, both Fashion Week and Golden Week, uh, there, there was a, a very high percentage of uh, shoppers from the PRC 
uh, shopping in Paris, and this the stores told us uh, the uh, Chinese uh, shoppers were comparing prices and and taking pictures, but not buying nearly as much this year as last year. So with the Black Friday spread, spreading to more countries. Hopefully that'll stimulate sales, but we're seeing overall very weak sales in Europe, very weak sales in Arabia, particularly weak sales in Russia and Kazakhstan uh, and throughout Latin America as well and, and many parts of Asia, including Korea. Uh, so it's really dependent upon the U.S. to drag retail sales out of the ditch, uh, Black Friday, Small Business Saturday uh, tomorrow, and throughout the Christmas, Hanukkah, uh, Kwanzaa season going into the new year. And having those added countries pick up Black Friday can certainly help in terms of stimulating worldwide sales, particularly since worldwide sales have been struggling so much the last two holiday seasons. Now, the biggest shopping day of the year is obviously still China's Singles Day. Do you foresee that gaining the same sort of traction? Do you see perhaps other countries getting in on that the same way they are doing with Black Friday, perhaps? The Chinese are very innovative to your present point about Singles Day. Uh, so far, the American uh, merchants and retailers have not been smart enough to adopt the uh, brilliant Chinese example of Singles Day, which uh, produced uh, record sales uh, for both Alibaba and, and Baidu, uh, and certainly could for the mall and shopping center-based retailers in the U.S., as well as Amazon. So we're hoping to see Singles Day following that uh, great Chinese lead uh, and have that institutionalized in the U.S. next year as well.